Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Life Science with KMD. Today I am going to explain about algal cultivation and production in India. Algal cultivation and production in India. Algae are morphologically simple chlorophyll containing organism that range from microscopic and unicellular to very large and multicellular. Algal culture is a form of aquaculture involving the forming of species of algae. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation has numerous uses. India is a growing market for microalgae such as spirulina which is now given as a pharmaceutical product. There is a scope for both small scale and large scale algal farming in the country. With its wealth of diverse freshwater and marine algae including seaweed, India can play a major role in algal farming and can become world leader in this sector. India is already one of the major producer of algal biomass for past 15 years. Algae grow much faster than food crops and can produce 100 times more oil per unit area when compared to the conventional crops such as uh, palm and soya bean. Algae can be harvested within 1 to 10 days. Therefore, their cultivation permits several harvests in a very short time frame. Algal cultivation requires huge amount of fertilizer chemicals in the form of nitrogen, phosphorus, carbon, minerals and other growth permitting nutrients for achieving good biomass and oil products or oil production. There are two types of culti cultivation method which has been followed for the cultivation of algae. One is open pond and another one is a closed loop system. Open pond cultivation. Algae can be cultured in open pond such as raceway or it could be cultivated in lakes or ponds. There are two main advantages of culturing microalgae using open pond system. Firstly, an open pond system is easier to build and operate. Second one is that the open pond are cheaper than closed photobioreactor. Disadvantages of um, open pond is that it cannot be maintained like we can't maintain the temperature and light at particular range and the chances of contamination of the culture will be more. It is used mainly for the cultivation of algae with high oil content. Raceway pond usually lined with a plastic or cement uh, made up of about um, 20 to th 35 centimeter in depth to ensure adequate exposure to sunlight. Pedal wheeling provide motive force and keep the algae suspended in the water. The pond are supplied with water and nutrients and the mature algae can be continuously removed at one end. Some of the example for open pond cultivation are spirulina and chlorella. Closed loop system. Example for this is a photobioreactor, an alternative to open ponds for large scale production of microalgal biomass are photobioreactors. The term photobioreactor is used to indicate an closed system that do not allow for direct exchange of gases or contaminants between the algal culture in which the, the algae is grown like if it is grown in a photobioreactor and the environment. There are different types of photobioreactors. These device provide a protective environment for the cultivated species and the culture parameters such as pH, oxygen, carbon dioxide concentration and temperature. It is um, as it is closed system we have to supply all nutrients 
including carbon dioxide. Different types of medium are used for different types of algae. For example, BG11 medium is used for the growth of chlorophyceae members. Bold basal medium is used for the cultivation of freshwater algae. ASN3 medium and uh, Chu2 medium are used for the cultivation of marine cyanobacteria. It prevent evaporation and reduce water use and uh, lower carbon dioxide losses due to outgrassing and uh, permit higher cell concentration thus reducing the operation co costs and attain higher productivity. Example is Dunaliella bardaville and Rhodella reticulata. Different types of photobioreactors are tubular photobioreactor, plate photobioreactor, column photobioreactor and this one is the annular photobioreactor. Harvesting, drying and packaging. Algae can be harvested using microscreens or by centrifugation or by flocculation or it could be done by froth flotation. Interrupting carbon dioxide supply can cause algae to flocculate on its own which is called autoflocculation. Chitosan, alum, ferric chloride are chemicals which are used as a chemical flocculants. In froth flotation, the cultivated algae or the cultivar aerate the water to a froth and skim the algae from the top. By using mess, also we can harvest the algae. After processing through the mess, slurry can be obtained. It is uh, washed with filtered water and dried by different drying method like spray drying, freeze drying or drum drying or even by vacuum drying. Harvested algae contain some 97 to 99% of water which is to be removed for long term storage of algae. To keep algae from prolonged microbial growth away from the prolonged uh, uh, microbial growth, the moisture level of the harvested algae should be kept below 7%. The cultivated algae are used for many purposes like preparation of biofuel, biofertilizer, food, medicines as a component in cosmetics and in aquatic feed etc. Spirulina Production Research and Training Center in Madurai. One of the example of a successful business initiative resolving around the spirulina production can be seen in Madurai, India. They are uh, cultivating spirulina from past 15 years. Here 15 women run a production facility of 40 spirulina tank. They work to produce 150 kg of spirulina per month. They produce chikki, a type of energy bar. They will give it to rural children to prevent malnourishment among the rural children. In production unit of about uh, 700 square meter of production area, tank is there um, and uh, 3600 uh, liters of culture will be there in each tank. Every day they can harvest one fourth of quantity in that culture. The slurry is washed with the distilled water and dried under sunlight. Next is the companies operating in algal products market. One of the company is Parry. It is uh, founded in 1788 and its headquarter is at um, Chennai. The company provide organic spirulina, chlorella and microalgal products in nutraceutical space. Paris Spirulina has three major international certificates um, and it uh, sold and it is sold in more than 41 countries across the globe. 
the highly specialized manufacturing plant of nutraceutical business for microalgal product production are located at the Tamil Nadu. Some of the companies which sell blue green algae and its products are Cosmic Nutras Solution Private Limited, which is in the Delhi, and then Harsh Biotech Limited, which is present in the which is in the Chandigarh, Santa Product Limited, which is in Delhi, and another company called Petro Algae was signed, which uh, which mainly work on uh, biofuel has signed to license technology for producing and harvesting algae for fuel to Indian oil. So the commercial preparations like Zerulina, Racolina, Nuclina, Vita Lina and uh, Gaia Spirulina, Spirit Powder and uh, Sunova containing dry powder of spirulina are available in Indian market. Company called Adi Biotech Private Limited, which is present in the Chandigarh, they cultivate species of Chlamydomonas, Chlorella, Dunalella and Chlorella vulgaris for, uh, for the production of biodiesel, biogas and bioethanol. Even Bharat Petroleum, which is uh, in the Maharashtra, they produce, I mean, their focus is also on the biofuel. Next, Vivekananda Institute of Algal Technology work on Desmococcus olivaceus um, in the production or the mainly focus, they are focused on pulsed magnetic field can be suitably integrated with existing mass cultivation technology to enhance the biofuel quality of algal oil. Then uh, alternative hydrocarbon center which is uh, present in Indian Institute of Technology they use microalgae for the conversion of microalgal uh, oil to biodiesel its stability will be studied along with the cold flow property of the oil. Then uh, Vivekananda Institute of Algal Technology, which is present in Chennai, they use microalgae for biofuel production, such as uh, diatoms. Especially diatoms are used for the production of uh, biofuel. They also work on seaweed for biogas production, especially sargasm. Then uh, CFTRA, which is a Central Food Technology Research Institute present in Mysore, they utilize a lot of, uh, uh, they do research on watercoccus brownie, um, spirulina, hematococcus pluvialis, dunaliella bardaville, and uh, parfuridium purpureum, which is a uh, red marine microalgae they mainly focus on um, pigment isolation research their main work is on pigment isolation or bioactive compound isolation from the uh, microalgae uh, it could be either pigment or uh, bio uh, peptides or protein anything so this type of uh, bioactive molecules will be isolated and uh, they also worked on biofuel using watercocus brownie then uh, another institute called synthetic biology and biofuel group which is present in uh, delhi they utilized chlamydomonas chlorella cyanobacteria for the cultivation like uh, for the work in biofuel production then vivekananda institute of algal technology which is present in the kolkata they work on green algae for the productivity of open pond microalgae for algal oil thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you